your research question is the most important thing. And a lot of people think, oh, but I'm gonna write about X, Y, and Z, but what they actually, what that is, is a topic. And that's great, that's really exciting. But you can't actually write a PhD on a topic. You're, you're trying to answer a question. And so that's one of the hardest things, actually, is to find out what question you're trying to answer. Just write, write for the bin write to throw it away and the reason for this is if you don't write and then you go out and do your research and come back after two years three years even and start trying to write if you haven't been writing that whole time you'll find it very difficult if you've been writing that whole time it's easy just to kind of keep going and ease into it so my advice would be write every day and don't worry about what you're writing try and do something simple don't make it very broad because I've done that. I've started with a very broad topic and then you start constructing it. Kind of relax in the first six months at least and to not feel too scared about being, for your reading, being so amorphous in relation to the different directions it takes because I think it's really important to kind of, kind of start with a really broad sense of what you of where you might go with your research to really use those first six months try to get some writing done every day that that would be one thing because i realized how much and one should enjoy oneself when one is a phd student but and um, putting a little bit of work in every day would not hurt especially to us the end um, Make sure that you're owning your research, that it is essentially what you want to do, and that whoever is um, supervising you is supportive of that vision and whatever that goal is. Um, and to make sure you do something you're really, really interested in, because otherwise you're going to hit like the third, fourth year point and just wonder why you signed up for this. So. So, is, is to have a se sense of perspective and realize that it's about exploration and opportunity and you don't get that, that opportunity to do that in other times in life is to really pursue something you're very interested in and to explore all the way around that as well and look at things from different angles so when people you know question what you're doing don't feel that threatening but think of that as an opportunity well, yeah, I, like, I, I would encourage them to join any social event possible and societies are a good a good tool to do that and to integrate yourself in, in the academic life. You need to take the lead of, 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 of making the most out of supervision meetings and setting up agendas um, and asking directly what you want. They're, it's not going to come to you on a plate. So I think the really important thing is to set up the dynamics of the supervision um, relationship from the outset. Uh, so I would go to all the all the trans skills courses at the start, which are about there's courses about how to manage the the your relationship with your supervisors. I would suggest go on those in your first year and and kind of set the boundaries of that relationship um, fr from the outset. Spend a, spend a couple of days orientating yourself mm. to to the, the the layout of the city. Mm. You know what the wonderful thing about Edinburgh is that it's. Um, incredibly easy to navigate on foot and I think that's quite a nice thing um, for a new an, an incoming student wanting to kind of get a sense of the city just to try and walk around and get your bearings and enjoy your time while you're doing your PhD it's just not all hard work have a lot of fun it's a beautiful city and you can walk almost everywhere enjoy it as much as possible just enjoy everything enjoy the theatre the, the academics, um, making new friends, um, taking the architecture, visit the museums, go to the palace, just take it all in and enjoy it. If you can, go and eat at the kitchen. It's a Michelin-starred restaurant down in Leith. And usually, a student especially would never be able to afford it, but you can go for lunch. It's a three-star, um, a three-course Michelin restaurant meal for 25 quid which is actually five courses so it's really something that you want to splash out on right so you finish your PhD and you go out for this or um, you know you get a job and you go out but go I mean sometime in your life you need to eat at this restaurant it's amazing